what's up everyone we're here in v rising and right now i'm going to show you exactly the build that i'm using right now that's allowed me to survive as a solo player in full loop pvp for a while now and honestly this build is just perfect you don't take any damage the only thing it may lack is no damage output but i promise you it doesn't even feel like it when you're doing so good in the fight so let me show you the exact weapons and skills you have to have to pull this off all right so first of all we're gonna go into the gear here right now i just have a hauling chest guard the full set um five piece uh miss signet ring uh, this gives you ability cooldown um, and then I do have the iron slashers here this is the weapon that you do want to be using you do want to be using the slasher specifically for the skills so let me show you the skills here and the abilities and why everything just works out super nice so of course you have the slashers here this is a main weapon you're going to be one using uh, for solo pvp just because of your e skill right here which is camouflage that's just a state of camouflage because your movement speed by 25 for 73 seconds and your next primary attack builds 80 percent physical damage and you incapitate the enemy for three seconds and this incapitate is actually like a cc also so it's a really good stun it's gonna get people stuck in position and then also here you have the elusive strike which is a pretty nice skill you kind of just dash forward and back and then you'll see the camouflage you can move around and it's a pretty good timer on there and when you hit them you get a little knock up stun so those two moves right there are very nice but mainly the camouflage is what's going to keep you alive i'm going to show you the rotation here also a lot of the moves in this game have a very low cooldown so then we're going to have two different shields here we're going to have chaos barrier uh, this is going to be your typical shield for the two second cooldown you're going to get um 75% damage towards the attacker once they hit their shield. So basically they hit your shield, you know, they're gonna get hit back with whatever they hit you with. And then we have the same thing here with the frost barrier, but this one has a 50% uh, percent magic damage waves that comes out um, every single time you get hit. So super, super good. You're basically gonna be keeping these up all the time with your camouflage. So as you can see, um, let me cover one thing here before I get too caught up with myself. The Veil of Frost. Now this is a super, super, super good dodge. You're gonna dodge not as far as other dodges, but you do get a shield for 125% of your health. And then your next damage is 50% magic damage and inflicts a chill on nearby enemies. So it's super good. And basically, as you can see, it's a very, very defensive build. This is like, if you see someone's coming up on you and you think like you know what maybe i can fight this off you can probably leave too but if you're really geared out you can really fight off a lot of people and win the fight just because you know you just out exhaust them so honestly this is the rotation for it so you're gonna go into the fight boom boom and honestly it doesn't matter which move you use first just make sure you use uh, the move for its full duration so pop a shield here boom wait for it to go down boom pop another shield you're invincible on this whole time boom come into this mode still invincible pop out with that boom and then you pull your shield up again boom 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 full duration full duration here boom boom and I shield up you know get yourself with the shield to dodge boom cut out and basically you're invincible the whole time you're either invisible you either have you know your one of your shields up or you dodge and you have you know a shield on your health here so basically even when you're playing against ai it's just insanely insanely good i would try to go and show you this you know against some players but i am in full loop pvp and that's kind of risky to be doing right now so basically we're gonna be going invisible he doesn't notice this here pull the shield out blocks the attack you know slash up pull another shield out gonna keep blocking dodge away get a shield go invisible you know he can't see you other players won't be able to see you boom boom hit have a shield boom 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 hit another shield as you can see dodge away have a shield go invisible he doesn't know where you're at boom 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 shield you know it's like so basically you're just always solid you're not really going to be getting hit unless you just <laughs> don't show at the right time like that but basically that's how it is and when you're playing pvp against other players that aren't that good with their projectiles and they're just throwing things out and panicking on the fight you can chill back keep your shields up you know and then you're just fine get your moves off whenever you can boom boom shield it's really really simple it's really really nice i'm telling you this is like the best defensive and offensive build you can really be using i don't see what else is better there are other moves that give you health you know heals but the healing in this game really isn't as viable as you know just staying alive in general so if you like this video in any way go ahead hit that like button hit the comment section so much you want to see next hit the subscribe button to post notifications and i'll catch you guys later
In the nighttime, it get tricky. Mess with me, we send our boys straight to whoop. Straight to the back seat. Put them work up in the nighttime, and it's getting tricky. I put my sweat and my tears in this bitch, so I swear to God, it's getting busy.